In this lesson I'm going to demonstrate how to run a backup of the Exchange 2010 Mailbox databases using Windows Server Backup. So I've prepared for this backup on my Exchange server by creating a, uh, a backups drive uh, mounted as W drive, so that's where I'm actually going to store the backup data. And I've also installed Windows Server Backup. So that uh, component is now installed and ready to go. So we can go ahead and kick off that backup by selecting Backup Once from the Actions pane. And because there's no um, scheduled backup options previously defined, uh, we just get to choose this option uh, of different options and click Next. The next step is to choose a backup configuration. Uh, if you were uh, wishing to back up the full server, including the operating system and uh, system state, and things like that, you could do so. But in my case, uh, I'm just demonstrating uh, specifically how to do mailbox database backup and recovery. So I'm going to choose a custom backup. And now we get the opportunity to choose which items we're going to actually back up. So I'll click on this Add Items button. And what I'm going to do is choose just the volumes that hold the transaction logs and the database files for uh, my mailbox database too. So the way Windows Server Backup works is it sees uh, volumes that you want to back up and it is then application aware and it does an application backup of the data that it finds on those volumes. But you do need to choose the entire volume. Uh, you couldn't choose just the folder containing the mailbox database itself. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to back up the C drive or the system state, um, as I said before, but if you were wishing to back up your entire server, you could choose those items as well. Now on this server that I'm backing up, I actually do have two mailbox databases. So I've got mailbox database one and two, and they're stored on separate drives. But uh, just as a word of warning, if you do back up um, all of those uh, mailbox databases as one backup job, you don't get the opportunity to do restores of just a single database out of that backup set. So if you want the capability to do a single database restore um, and you do have multiple databases on your server, you would need to run separate backup jobs for each of the Marbox database volumes and back them up separately so that in a restore scenario, you're not going to be restoring the databases that you don't want to restore. You can just restore the one that you do want to restore. So. I've chosen my Log2 and Data2 folders, I'll click OK, and the next thing I need to do is click on Advanced Settings, and up here in this VSS Settings tab, I need to change uh, this backup type to be a VSS Full Backup. So what that means is it will do a backup of the Exchange application data, and then as it says here, this option updates the backup history of each file and clears the application log files. So those application log files it's referring to are the transaction log files for the Exchange database. And we can see those here in this logs drive. And you can see there's um, a lot of these transaction log files in, uh, named in numerical order. Uh, in fact, there is 143 items in the folder altogether. I'll just see if I can show that. 143 items in the folder in total. So what we're expecting is that that backup will run and will actually clear the transaction log files that it no longer requires uh, for um, the resiliency of that database. So VSS full backup, click OK, and we'll go ahead and click Next. Now we get to choose a backup destination. So I am going to be using a local drive, and it will be the W drive uh, that I previously uh, earlier configured on my server. And now we're ready to go. So I'll just double check the backup items that I've chosen are the log2 and data2 folders. So that's the transaction log and database uh, uh, volumes for my mailbox database2. I'm not excluding any files. I'm backing them up to my dedicated backups volume, which is W drive. And I'm doing a VSS full backup. So now that I'm ready to go, I can just click on the backup button. And once that backup starts, you can uh, actually close 
this progress window if you want to uh, and the backup will continue to run in the background. I'm just going to leave this one open so that we can see the result uh, when the backup has completed. That backup was completed successfully so we can see that the logs drive had uh, about uh, 240 gig of data backed up and the data drive uh, about another 230 gig so it didn't take very long to back up what, what was less than 500 uh, sorry 500 megabytes of information not gigabytes um, so that was pretty quick in this case because my test lab server it doesn't have a lot of Marbox data uh, actually stored in that database so just to round out that task I'll go back now into the uh, transaction log folder for Marbox database 2 and as you can see now the item count has dropped down from uh, what was over 140 items to only 17 items so it's actually truncated most of those transaction logs uh, after the database was uh, successfully backed up so you can see that performing full backups on a uh, daily basis or a regular basis is what keeps your transaction log volume under control and keeps it from filling up all available disk space so now that backup task is completed we can go ahead and look at uh, recovering a Marbox database for Exchange 2010.